happen now in Baringo County Government through the Ministry of Urban Planning has initiated a town planning framework that will meet the desired standards of a modern town from mushrooming slums. As KUTV's Paulette Bougan now reports, the aim is to attract more investors to do business in the county. And to achieve this, the county has already secured part funding from the World Bank in efforts to upgrade the town in five phases. In a move to improve the housing structures in Baringo County, the county government has initiated a town planning to meet the desired standards of developed town. CEC of Housing, Urban Planning and Development, Elijah Kipkoros, has said the rising population in the town has called for the need to have proper town plan to meet the need of houses and business premises within the county. The, the future is about urbanization, all of you know. And therefore, if you have got to make the right history, if you have got to put in mechanisms that will ensure that um, come 50 years, our towns in Baringo will be like other towns elsewhere where you like and realize these are towns that are resilient. These are towns that are void of uh, slums. These are what we normally call green cities. Chorus added that the special plan which is to be tabled before the assembly will see the creation of municipality administrators to see all town plans are adhered to. To begin with is the Cabernet market that has been allocated 35 million shillings to footpaths to ensure safety of residents walking on foot. So we are encouraging partners to come on board and help us to develop houses in Baringo County. Because you see now the environment is good after doing the special planning, the IUDP and the integrated urban development plan. We have set aside land for each and every land use. Chief Officer Catherine Changoni urged those who had title deeds to make use and develop their lands. Paulette Mboga, KUTV.